Hope you had a great weekend. First weekend of June, turning now to our first alert weather. Drone 13 flying over Sacramento's Oak Park neighborhood today. Nice shot there. A lot more cloud cover than in recent days and also a lot cooler than the warm up we saw over the weekend. And yeah. it kind of felt a little sticky and humid at times. So. <laughs> it did. You're right. So Chief Meteorologist Dick Mariano is joining us now. You're back with us. Back, yep. <laughs> Bringing some, some the, good uh, weather, I hope. Yeah, though. some of that humid-ish yeah. uh, <laughs> up from the tropics, right? You know, for our standards, the dew points lower 60s. Mm -hmm. It is on the higher end for yeah. our area. And that's actually helping to pop some thunderstorms that we've been seeing out there today. And that's giving the valley a lot of clouds because the storms have been developing over the Sierra and the foothills today. The uh, Those cloud tops, uh, you call those sometimes the blow-offs of the storms. And that's what's drifting west right over the uh, central valley, giving us some filtered sunshine this afternoon. Let's check out live radar right now. Not a whole lot of activity across parts of the foothills. This is a different story than about two hours ago where we had a line of thunderstorms kind of rained itself out, but we still have some leftover showers to the north along parts of uh, going north of I-80 at the moment. And then down to the south of Tuolumne County, we've been watching some showers and thunderstorms. But you can kind of see the, uh, the outflow from those storms. Rain cooled air right there, drifting to the north, and that means the storms kind of peaked in its intensity and starting to rain themselves out in this location. But again, about say a half hour, 45 minutes ago, a lot of cloud and ground lightning strikes were with these thunderstorms, now mainly rain showers. Down to the south, though, we are watching some active weather right along uh, Yosemite by the National Park, northward to parts of uh, Tuolumne County, and these are slowly drifting toward the west and southwest. So I am going to be watching this area, especially going into parts of the San Joaquin Valley, over the next couple of hours for potential additional thunderstorm development. Uh, but overall, the activity starts to decrease overnight. We'll still have some clouds around tonight, and by the early morning hours, hours starting off the day fairly quiet, but there will still be a few showers around, especially by the Delta, even along parts of the coastal ranges, but they won't be much of a big deal. By the afternoon, I'm going to be watching another round of thunderstorms developing over the same areas across the Sierra, and these will be drifting off toward the west and northwest. Some of those will be locally strong, especially from Highway 50 north toward Plumas County, and some isolated storms may also be borderline severe with some high wind gusts and some large hail in those higher elevations. Here is the forecast over the next 24 hours. This is for Placerville, and you'll notice a period of time during the afternoon. You can see that red bar. That's early to mid-afternoon where thunderstorms are most likely into the day. And then the darker green is where we could have the elevated chance for some of the larger hailstones and some of the higher winds with these storms in the Sierra. And the reason why we've highlighted flooding as also a storm threat is because storms won't be moving very quick. So storms over those burn scar locations could result in some localized pockets of some flash flooding. So something we'll have to watch out for during the day tomorrow when it comes to those thunderstorms. Temperatures right now into the low to mid 70s. We've had that delta breeze winds right now pretty steady in Fairfield 30 miles per hour. We'll have a similar setup again tomorrow, keeping temperatures seasonably cool. Certainly nothing like what we've had over the weekend. Temperatures tomorrow peaking into the lower 80s to upper 70s for those afternoon storms. But for the valley itself, again, each day has again a mix of sun and clouds with a few showers into the forecast of the valley Sunday to Monday. The uh, Delta in the Bay Area holding on to temperatures running a bit cooler and I'll leave you with the forecast for the foothills and Sierra, especially in these regions watching for daily thunderstorms each afternoon. Marley, over to you. All right, we'll look for that. Thank you, Nick.